critical elements to understanding your native Adobe Illustrator files is understanding the difference between a linked file and an embedded file. This is a, just an introduction where we're going to brush over the links panel and talk to you about some of the advantages to using links and some of the advantages to using embedded files. So let's look at an example. If I were building an ad and I've got something started here, I've got some text and I've got a logo, I've got an image, you can see where all of these items live um, that have been imported from elsewhere by bringing up a panel called the links panel. Under window, bring up links, and you can see I have three linked items so far in this build. Another thing that you can see is that the links panel has a drop down menu. If I select an item and use the drop down menu, I can get some information about it. So if I click on link information, you can see that I have a TIFF file. You can see when it was created and there's other information as to the location. Now this is important because this is a linked file and it lets me know where on my hard drive this actual file lives. So working in a native Adobe Illustrator document and you work with linked files, they're files that live elsewhere on your hard drive. This has the advantage of keeping the file size small on your Adobe Illustrator file. It also gives you the advantage of selecting an item and then editing the original. And if I click Edit Original, it's going to open up Adobe Photoshop and let me do some things and tweak this file. And when I save it, Illustrator will, ask, will prompt me in Illustrator and say, hey, you know, something has changed to this linked file. Would you like to accept the changes? And I can click on OK. So there are some advantages to working with linked files. However, if I was sharing this file between other uh, coworkers and I was going to move it from, say, my home computer to the work environment and we didn't have a shared external server, sometimes it's helpful to embed the images. So let's take a look at how you might do that. One way to embed an image is to click on embed either in the control panel or using your links drop down menu to embed image. Can I do this with other items? Yes I can. So if I click here or one way to find something easily is if I had a bunch of links and I wanted to find this particular logo EPS or encapsulated postscript item I could do that by go to link. Notice how the artboard shifts and that particular item when I selected go to link is now highlighted. This item is a vector graphic that has been imported um, that was previously created. I can also embed this item, embed image. Notice how it disappears from my links panel because now this vector graphic is behaving like a native vector graphic as if it had been originally created and is now part of my native Illustrator file. That does not happen when I embed images, however. If I select an item, you can see that that linked item can be highlighted as well and I embed the image, it stays. It shows me this image in the links panel but it has changed the icon. Now the panels look a little bit different in between CS5 and CS6 um, and there are a few little subtleties that are different but the idea remains the same. You can either have an embedded object or you can have a linked object. Now Part of my workflow is to work with linked objects. You may decide that it's more prudent for you to work with embedded objects. But when I typically place an item, let's say for example, um, I delete this and I want to use this 
item instead, or maybe I want to use a different photo altogether. I can delete an item, or I could place it on a layer and hide it, and then I can search for and place a new graphic. So File Place allows me to link new graphics. So I can place this new item and I can look around for something else that's going to work. I navigate to an item and I place the item. So let's look at that again under File and Place. Notice how I have so once I select an item I want to place, notice I have the option to link that item or not link that item. This is how you choose whether or not to place something as a linked object or not. So I typically work with links, so I'll have link checked and click on place. And now you can see that that is a linked item. And if I wanted to edit this one, I would click on Edit Original, and it would open up Adobe Photoshop. Let's look at another option. So I'm going to delete that one. File, Place. This time, I know I'm going to be sharing this document with others, and it's going to be moved around from one system to the next, and we don't have a shared server, so I want to embed this item. I'm going to choose the image and I'm going to uncheck link and place it. Now it has placed it, even though it shows up in my links floating panel, this icon lets me know that this object is embedded. Other options that are kind of cool is that I can continue placing items as needed. I can place other types of items. It doesn't have to just be uh, pictures. Of course, I can, as you've seen earlier, I can place EPS items. I can choose to have them as links or not. And, you know, I can edit them as needed once they make it to the artboard. If I were to lose track of this item, or if I were to edit it externally, I could actually physically use my links panel to update that link. So if you know that, a, that an object that is linked in your panel has been in some way changed and you're not seeing the change on your artboard, let's say you've closed this Illustrator, this native Illustrator file, you open up at a later time after you've edited this object, then you could go and update the link. So there's all sorts of really cool options available through the links panel. I could only choose to show embedded items only. I can choose to show and look for and see if anything has been modified. In this case, nothing has been modified recently. So it's a good way for you to check before you save and share documents with others. And then, of course, we can go back to showing all. And you can also sort things by their name, by what type of file it is, or by their status, whether they've been modified, whether they've been, whether they're embedded or linked. So there's different ways of using this panel. But the main idea here is that you understand the difference between a linked file and an embedded file. And that concludes this brief introduction.